in this video, I'm going to be packing up. If, blah. Let's try that again. I am going to be packing. In my last vlog, I showed you guys around a place that we were considering moving to, and we are moving. So the packing process has begun, or this is the beginning. I want to get a little bit done each day, and today you're going to see me start with my clothes. Most of you, I'm sure, have heard of the whole Marie Kondo style approach to organizing your home and kind of living more minimally. Not just minimally, making sure that you have a space where you feel at peace and centered and surrounded by things that spark joy. So yeah, I'm going to use this approach when boxing up anything in the house and we are planning on hosting a garage sale here soon and so this is a perfect opportunity to go all Marie Kondo because <laughs> I don't want to just box stuff up to bring it there and have it sit and collect dust. If it doesn't spark joy, it has to go. All right, let's get started. This I still wear all the time and it holds a special memory. So it sparks joy and I'm going to keep it. Either I'm already a minimalist to the extreme, which I don't think I am. I think there's still some things I can get rid of. This is just harder than it seems. The first five things that I pulled out of the closet already, I'm keeping all of them. So. <laughs> It's no secret, but this dress right here, guys, I actually found just on a random shopping trip to TJ Maxx, and it was on a clearance rack. It was the only one left. I fell in love with it, and I always thought that someday when we get married, which whenever that day is, I know I don't really talk about our, uh, my, like, relationship and my engagement and stuff like that but we've been engaged now for four years I think going on four years I know that's a big chunk of time to be engaged but um someday I'll make a whole another video of like my thoughts and stuff about that but that is definitely okay with me and with him so we are in no rush really to tie the knot we're growing as people, you know, and um, yeah, I just think those things don't need to be rushed. I think people put a timestamp on things and um, yeah, it's just, that's not, not important. That's not the most important thing. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm going to be here. He's going to be here. And if someday we don't want to be together, then I think it's just, it's a lot of pressure. So um, anyways, Okay, so I found this in TJ Maxx on the clearance rack and tried it on. It's like three sizes too big, but I fell in love with it and I bought it and I've never worn it. It still has the tags. And my idea is that if we ever decided to go the route of a destination wedding, that this would be my wedding dress, or maybe one of them. I don't know, like to take pictures in. It is so cute. It's so hard to like see it and stuff without trying it on the way that it lays. But it's so cute, and I don't think I said how much it is. Guess how much? $10. Yep, $10 wedding dress. <laughs> and if you guys know me, of course it would be from TJ Maxx. <laughs> um, but I, I wasn't planning on seeing it there one day, and I just loved it. Yeah. So maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep it tucked away.
So I'm going through another room right now and I came across these. I have three different ones that I'm just going to put into the garage sale because some of them are things I already know. These are books that I bought back when I was first diagnosed in 2012, 2012 I think. Sorry about the mess you guys, I need a shower so bad. But um, yeah, so I definitely think I'm gonna sell these three. And I just came across a book that my sister made for me um, for Christmas, I think, one year. It was really cute. I, this is like the best part of packing is finding things that you hadn't looked at in a long time. <laughs> like stuff like this. That's me. She's older than me, so that's my sister Heather. And that is the year I was born, 1990. Okay, I'm glad you like it. Want to see the next page? <laughs> Here's my sister again, and Heather, my sister again. Oh, it says it. Heather, there's me. This is really cute that she made this. <laughs> that haircut. I love this picture of us. <laughs> Can you tell? Not currently with this fro mess, but does it still look like me, guys? This definitely sparks joy. Tell everybody how you've been such a good boy. We've been doing a lot of training the last two days. You guys might have seen some of it on my Instagram story, but we're doing good. We're getting here. We're getting here. Hmm. The come here is one of the things he struggles with the most. Huh. But we're working on it. And we're making progress. All right. Sit. Good boy. I just found a book that I rented off of Chegg's website back when I was in college that I never returned. <laughs> After a while you probably just own it but either that or I have like a $5,000 fee that I don't know about. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the same week, it's just a couple days later and I figured I might as well add this to the packing video to kind of go along with moving but then also kind of along the lines of possibly satisfying in a weird way just like the last video if you guys saw that if you didn't i'll link that right here but um today at work seneca texted me and said that edison had gotten out of his crate so him and da vinci went through the garbage peed pooped everywhere and the rug that's supposed to be white, it still looks not that bad, right? It really doesn't look that bad, but um, I'm borrowing my mom's shampooer and it needed it anyways. So see if we can clean up today's mess and just dirt that's built up from having dogs since we bought this rug. I don't even know when I bought this. It's been a few years and it's never been shampooed. If anybody's curious about the shampooer, it's this one here. So, so far, I packed up the tree Mostly all the cleaning supplies throughout the house. Blankets will all go in here. Obviously, we still have some that we're using. Rugs 
I've cleaned them and put in there that I don't need to put back out. And decorations. And more decorations. Some office supply stuff. Towels as we clean them and don't need them. They'll all go in there. Bathroom stuff, my bathroom stuff. Items that will be posted for sale on eBay. Bedding, sheets, pillowcases, all of that. Fitted sheet. The start of the dog stuff. There's a basket downstairs that I'm gonna end up putting in here. Books. This is a huge box that like goes on forever, so working on that. <laughs> supposed to be coming over here in a little bit we're going to just work on some more packing she's going to help me set up for a garage sale this weekend and i'm going to take a drive over and show her the house i'm not going to vlog going over to the house again today i already showed that in a vlog if you haven't seen that yet i'll link that right up here go check that out but yeah so just probably gonna work on as much of the kitchen as I can get done to before she gets here. This has been really beneficial to like deep clean, spring clean basically things that I never really paid much attention to, you know, things that you don't use every day and decided just to get rid of the clutter, you know. Um, I don't really have that much, but uh, there's always improvement for sure if you have some things in your house that need to be reorganized or things that could be gone through maybe just pretend like you're moving and give yourself a date that you have to have everything out by um and go through this you know not as crazy like don't put things in boxes and things like that but push yourself to organize some stuff that you might have been putting off so it, it'll be nice that when i get there and i unpack it'll be everything in there that I wanted to bring with me. It's not going to just be a bunch of stuff thrown in a box, you know, so it all has a purpose. It's taking me a little bit longer to pack doing it this way, but it's worth it. Da Vinci, go around. <sighs> I let him out and our back sliding glass door is off its tracks, so he doesn't understand. You need to go to the front door. I can't let you in here. <laughs> Go around. But like I said, like I cleaned off those mats and stuff that really, really needed to be clean. I sprayed them down yesterday. I'm super excited to be moving in there. I think this house was just way more than we can keep up with, to be honest. It was too much. So um, I think living over there is just gonna be better for me and for us. So I'm looking forward to it. This month is going by so fast. And I'm glad that I made it a point to start packing a little bit each day and not saving it all to the end so that everything can feel organized. Um, I just feel better about the process doing it like that. Make sure that you subscribe, all the above. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know how you're doing you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.